G'day, I'm Chris from Stony Creek Campers and welcome to another video in our series of how-tos. Today we're going to be briefly touching base on the electrical system on the Scout X. I'm going to run you through from the lithium batteries to your light switches and show you where all those are located. Come along. Alright, now we're inside the Scout X. What we're looking at here is the main control panel just inside the entry door. So what we're looking at here is basically the main control panel for the Scout X. So it's going to have your water tanks, it's going to be all your light switches, your stereo, etc. So I'm going to run you through each of these items now and explain what they do. Up the top left we've got our front water tank. We've got the rear water tank sitting beside it and then we've got a voltmeter slash amp meter here. So in red is your current voltage of your battery system. Below it is the amount of power you're drawing in amps. Down below it we have a main switch, so by pushing that main switch it's going to liven this panel and it's going to allow things such as your pump, your fridge, your lights etc to operate. Beside that we've got the light switches, we've got the fridge, the cigarette socket, the pump, so it's your water pump, a couple of other lights down the bottom here and then a button that says dimming. Just to quickly talk about dimming, it doesn't dim your lights down, what it does it makes your outside lights go amber for bugs. So by pressing that, the outside light near the kitchen is now orange. Up on the top here, we have the control panel for the underbed air conditioner. It's a Truma unit and the remote control will make some lights on here appear, but there's no actual buttons for you to press. Below that one, we've got our Renergy lithium controller. It's gonna give you the ins and outs of your lithium batteries. So you can see on the screen now it's currently at 14.3. It's going to directly represent the gauge up here. There's a couple of different screens. So it's got a 99.8 down in the bottom right hand corner we have SOC. That stands for state of charge. That's the most important screen that this display can show you. If it's at 99.8 it's pretty much fully charged. If it was at 50% we're obviously half flat, 30%, more than half flat etc. When it gets down to about 10, the battery systems are going to go into protection mode and turn off. So that is a very important screen for you when you're off grid. You want to be checking on it here and there, making sure that the fridge is always going to keep running for you. If we keep flicking through, we've got another one, nine, sorry, 199.7 AH, that's amp hours. That's pretty much like your state of charge in this screen. It's saying that you have 199.7 amp hours remaining out of your capacity of 200. The next screen is amps. So it will show you how much power you're drawing. If we were to turn everything on, because we got some sun today, it probably won't work, but the minus will come up on here and it will show a figure. That means we're drawing power. If the minus is gone, that means we're putting power back into your battery system back to the main screen at 14.3. Moving down we have the hot water system activation switch so it can go 60 or 70 degrees depending which way we flick that switch up or down. If we're running the hot water system on gas we're going to take the cover off on the outside which we would have shown you in another video and you can simply flick that switch up or down and the hot water system will go through its lighting process. The next one over is our electric step. If we flick that to open, the electric step's going to come out, close, it's going to come back in, etc. And then this one here is obviously your radio. So it is also a DVD player for your TV. It does Bluetooth. There's a little lever here we can slide across, which will do USB for your portable media. Over on the other side of the rear of the bed now, closer to the cupboard, we've got our main circuit breakers. So they're gonna be for when we're on 240 volts. To open it up, there's a little lever at the bottom that we can swing up, and then we can gain access of the circuit breakers, same as you would at your home. If any of them are in a down position, they have tripped, we need to pull them back up for it to be operational. Beside it here, we have the electric hot water switch. So if we're running the hot water system off 240 volts at a caravan park, we can simply press that switch down and it will start heating on 240 volts without using the gas system. 
Always remembering to turn it back off to 40 volts before we leave. Now that we've had a chat about the electronics at the end of the bed, I'm just gonna quickly lift the end of the bed here and show you where the items are located underneath. So as we come up with the mattress, you can see straight away at the back front and center, we've got your underbed air conditioner. Just to this side of that, a little bit hard to see on camera, but we've got a 240 volt battery charger. So that's gonna be looking after your batteries when you're plugged in to 240 volts. Over on the left here, we've got a Renogy DC-DC charger. That one there is gonna be taking care of the DC-DC side of things, so solar on the roof and also the charging from your vehicle while you're in transit. Just over on this side here, we've just got access into the rear of the controls. So the back of your water tanks, the stereo, things like that. You wouldn't normally need to gain access in there, but if you ever did, it's nice and easy to get into. Thanks for joining us in another video in our series of how-tos. We spoke about the electrical system then on your Scout X. Hopefully I was able to point out a couple of key components to you and simplify things. Thank you.